Hello Vinyl Community, it's Martin here. Uh, this will be my August 2018 video. I hope you're all doing well, I'm fine. I'm on holiday next week so um, looking forward to that. Start starting now with, it's only 5 to 4 but anyway, with my uh, quaffable ale. Uh, it's called, uh, I think it's called Wolf and it's from Slovakia. Um, thanks for watching. Um, my last batch of finds was quite a while ago. It was the Finland one and that was June. And then I did a, um, a um, competition entry. But apart from that, I've been listening to music, been on the radio every other, um, sorry, every week, pretty much, um, and just doing normal, normal things. I, um, well, not a shout out, but I was going to say if we're all going to meet, uh, or some of us are going to meet in Leeds, uh, beginning of October, that will be awesome again. Um, and Leeds isn't that far in in the world scheme of things. And it's a place I've never been to before. So hopefully I will be meeting again VC members of the UK or England or whatever you want to say. Um, then uh, the last batch of records I found, I went to a charity shop that I don't go to so often now. Um, somebody had cleaned up though. Grrr. Um, I think I'd actually even left my number at this place. I didn't, I didn't say, oh, why didn't you phone me first or anything? But um, they'd taken 86 records. They must have taken the best, the cream of the crop uh, with those. I don't know. Did they haggle down? The usual thing, I suppose, for me or here or whatever is it's not a dollar or a euro. It's a pound for a record. Uh, unless, of course, it's somewhere where they go through and price them or overprice them or whatever. Anyway, I found, I think it's about 14 or so. And here are those to start off with, um, but the condition's a bit, it's okay. I think if I get them properly cleaned, uh, they might not be too bad. Um, uh, I, I will show you what they are generally like. And then I've got some other, that way, stuff to um, show you. So I'll whiz through these maybe, I don't know. Here we've got um, Al Stewart. I think this is his debut. I only really know him for the, from the year of the uh, cat. I think this must be his debut. It's, uh, I think it was an orange CBS, yeah. And um, when is this from? 67? I'm not sure. Anyway, so that was one of the famous 14. Here we've got a beggar's banquet. And the condition, or I don't even know what pressing it is, but as you can see, that's a little bit, a bit manky. I could probably do with a clean. You know, for all I know, they might be like first pressings or something. But um, yeah, we shall see. I mean, obviously with older vinyl, you never know. It might just play um, perfectly fine. Uh, some of these I've heard of, some of them I haven't. Uh, one I have heard of. This is uh, Sunflower the Beach Boys. So I'm guessing that this was when they were all living in uh, this house together. I've seen a few, well, there is a few films, TV um, biopics knocking about telling Beach Boys' story. This is um, 1970. I don't mind the Beach Boys. I mean, I don't mind most bands, really. Uh, this is Music in a Doll's House by Family. Slightly spooky if you don't like dolls there. Back cover. It's, I think that's just a Warner Brothers a reprise with the steamboat on it cover. Uh, this is a Manfred Mann album. As is. Um, there it is. If you can see that so much. 
reckon we've got, well this album I think I've got already, but I grabbed it. This is the one where I think he does like sort of blues covers and um, whatnot. I should have Sheriff as well, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not hugely into him. I do sometimes call in um, Eric Clapped Out. But, yeah. This is someone called Davy Graham. This is very much a case of you see these things and absolute like what a, a lot of records and you either heard of the other people, like this guy here, and you just grab them really if they're a quid each then, you know. I think he's more folky, Davy Graham, as is Bert Yanch. This is Transatlantic. I've never seen this one before. The one I always see is the one with him, the one I've got, which is with him, um, the transatlantic one on with, with the windmill on the cover, I think. Um, yeah, is it a world of or the best of or something? Uh, this I'll like, I think. Still in the shrink. Amazingly. Sharp corners. No, bent, bent corners, slightly. Special Purchase only one ninety nine. I've never heard of Music Point. Do I take this shrink off and risk eternal stickiness, as my Pulp Fiction um, album has become? I don't know. This isn't. This is no. This isn't sticky. This almost needs sanding down a bit. This is uh, Wheels of Fire. And I don't know what's happened here. Could it have been textured? I don't, I don't think so, no. Uh, still in the same place here, all these records. Uh, this is actually in decent nick. This is Sonny Rollins. <laughs> and it's uh, actually this one, I think it's Japanese because it's, um, there's no OB, but um, it's um, got the. Um, in sleeve in Japanese. It's on River, it's Riverside. It's Victor Victor Musical Industries Inc. 1976. Hmm. This is mashed, but I got it because it looks interesting. It's a canned heat. It's a double. And what grabbed me was the second disc. It's just two long tracks, a refined or refried, was it? An um, oh, sorry, refired boogie. Yeah. If this was mint, this would be worth quite a bit. I've never heard of him ever. It was owned by. I don't even know. I thought they said Gracie, but anyway, I don't know. And then last of all, this batch is some music from the big pink on that. Kind of, kind of a label. So, um, let's see. Right, have a drink. Right, if you watch Diane or Diana Burnett's videos, um, she's in Germany. She does those little sort of like um, sound clips um, in her videos, and I heard this and I wanted to try it. It's very atmospheric. It's very um, I don't know. I don't know whether it fills in the background, but it means you've got something there. So I, I, I um, ordered this, and it came very quickly, very nicely packaged. It's by somebody Canadian called C.R. Gillespie. So if you go to her uh, Diane Diana's channel, you'll get to hear what this is like. A bit. He's a Canadian guy. They said there was only 244 copies. Why that amount? I've no idea. Maybe if they've run out of money or something. Um, and I, I really like it, yeah. It reminds me of, it even reminds me a little bit, I don't know whether it's the equipment they're using, but it's sort of going back to these sort of 70s, 80s sort of um, um, ambient or, you know, slightly homemade albums. Uh, I'm just trying to think of the guy's name. Um, I can't remember his name now. 
Actually, hang on, let me go and find out. Hang on. It's like this. Hang on. You know, science. This guy, Michael Garrison. 1979. Yeah, it's a little bit like that sort of a thing on that sort of a tick. Um, and last Sunday, no, not last Sunday, well, anyway, about a week or so ago, no, it was last weekend I was on the way back from um, work or I can't remember now, somewhere, and um, <clears throat> I stopped off at a shop like an antiquesy sort of um, place near Milton Keynes. There's Milton Keynes again. <laughs> um, and um, there was like three or four sellers of really good stuff there, and that took a long time to go um, through it. So I got from one seller three for a fiver. Uh, James Griffiths, hi James, you showed this. I liked it. Not hugely keen on all of the clan ad stuff. In fact, I think I prefer more of a, some would say cheesy, but I prefer more of a synth work that they did more in the 80s than the folk uh, sort of thing. So this is for some TV show, I suppose a bit like, um, well, it must have been a little bit like, um, you know, the big series that Attenborough does on, um, on um, uh, BBC. Called now, but he's just done one underwater one, hasn't he? And it's been huge, huge success. The second of the three for ten pounds, an Australian band I'm not familiar, so familiar with. I've heard the name a lot. I'm mad on the church, and I'm mad on the go betweens. Hunters and collectors. To me, this didn't quite hit the spot um, so much. This track here, Talking to a Stranger, I think, I'm familiar with because the Avalanches uh, remixed it. To me, this album sounded a little bit like, um, not post-punk Talking Heads, but a little bit more like um, going towards world-influenced and slightly dated sort of sound to me. So, um, I'm, I'm a bit undecided about that. This album I haven't, had not got and haven't got. So I have got now. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, Travelogue. Vinyl Richie was talking about this and it reminded me as well. And then it, it turned up. So, yeah, I mean, I've got, I've got Dare and I've got, um, another one by then. I've got, um, the one with the, people dancing um, on, a, on a floor. I can't remember the name now. Um, but no, I'll tell you what's ironic about, well not ironic, what's strange about that is it's, yeah, it's two women feet dancing or whatever and that was before and ultimately they ended up with two women singing in it, in, in the uh, band. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, a few one pound finds from the same place here. This is Probably going to be an upgrade copy of this. Uh, yeah, if you want to know about this in Human League, there's a documentary on um, YouTube, I think, and it's BBC called Synth Britannia, and uh, it goes through all that sort of stuff. And Robin Gristle, I think, are on it. Um, yeah, and what became more pop hit kind of stuff. Bit of Tom here for a quid. And this. Now, Bill Bruford, I can't, was he in King Crimson? Or, I can't remember now, but this I got for a quid and I thought this would be uh, worth it. No idea what it is, really. It's some sort of jazz thing, I think. Okay, so, few, just a few more to go. I'll just skim through them. Um, I think they probably all cost a quid anyway. 
yeah, a bit of a mixed bag, to be honest, some slightly humorous ones. Uh, I haven't given this a listen, but Big Recited is pretty good. So this is the, uh, this is a Mormon concept album, I think. Up in the corner, it says, uh, as man is, God once was. As God is, man may become. So that, to me, is not Christian. Whether Whatever you want to think about that, there's some artwork here. It's quite quite nice. Um, I'm really only familiar with Crazy Horses by Osmonds, so and Puppy Love, I suppose. But we shall see what this what this turns up as. I'm guessing it's going to be quite good, um, even if um, theologically I might disagree with it on certain things, that's perfectly okay. So from that to Did Dinosaurs Exist? This is the dinosaur record of which I think uh, I suddenly thought that um, David Bellamy had something to do with it. He was a well, he's a uh, well known British T V naturalist of the eighties, I guess. I don't know what this is. It's got songs, so it's got a bit of electronic sort of stuff going on as well. It's from 1980. Well, oh, should be interesting. <coughs> I won't be able to get my Diplodocuses modelled up anymore. Uh, Jerry Rafferty for a pound again, my towel. Um, I played it. It was okay. Yeah. <laughs> So from the sublime to the uh, uh, this is a bit of a religion theme going on here. But, um, this is just funny. I don't think I've shown it. I found it. Um, he is oh he's a Franciscan. Okay, he is in North Wales or was. Um, there you go, a little sign there. It's a diner. God bless Father Francis, and um, he's done Una Pamela Blanca, Viva España, Fernando, When I Need You, and then a few religious ones, and then there's a version of Get Back, which I would advise that James Griffiths would, uh, and any other Beatles uh, fans would hear his version of Get Back. It's, it's slightly changed the words as well, um, but it's, it's lively, I'll give him that. Yeah. Here's a run rig album. I thought I would try this. is early run rig, so I'm guessing that it's, it's going to sound a bit more folky, rootsy, and not quite so um, overproduced. It's called uh, a Highland Connection. Oh, this is a long video, sorry. Let's speed up a bit. The Music of India. Yeah, performed by leading Indian artists. Don't know much about that. The sitar sound really nice, you know, really. Well, more, more, they've got more than a twang, haven't they? This, I don't really know what this is either, but it's on Discogs for quite a bit of money. I wouldn't pay that much for this copy, though. But this is the. Uh, the label. And here is post it free now order form. I'm guessing it's classical, but it's not so it's not so modern classical, but well we shall see. A couple more to finish off with quickly. Derek and Clyde live. I mean my favourite. Derek and no, that wasn't Derek and Clyde. My favourite Pete and Dud one is probably the, the sketch about the guy with the um, with the uh, goes for the job interview. He's only got one leg for the uh, trapeze artist uh, job. 
have a finishing off here with a bit of Moog Indigo. I mean, for a quid, picking up these kind of things is interesting. And then, you know, you read on the labels as you're going through this stuff. It's quite easy to, to go past stuff that you would consider tat, I suppose you would say. So hopefully that will be of the sorts of things that I tend to pick up for a quid. I watched another guy's channel, and he seemed to be the, almost the Amer well, slightly more hippie, I guess. I hope he doesn't watch this and think, what are you talking about? His name is, is it Hernando's Hideaway? And he's found all sorts of stuff in thrift stores in America. And, um, yeah, interesting. Yeah, he picks up a lot of um, interesting stuff for a dollar, I guess. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm waiting to watch Chelsea versus Arsenal. Um, I don't know if I'm hoping a lot, but um, <coughs> who knows? Who knows? Let's see. Let's see if they're as bad as we are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If not, I've got I've got a couple of people coming round, and they're Arsenal supporters as well. So. We can have a good moan and a shout at the television together. So thanks for watching again. And um, hopefully see you all soon. I've still got many videos to catch up on. I'll still try to comment on them. Yeah, just a way to stay in touch with people, isn't it, really? Yeah, I like a lot of different videos in the VC or, or people do videos. Um, I'm not sort of like into one kind or, or um, you know people just skim over them it's fine people go into a lot of in-depth conversation about them and knowledge it's interesting too uh, yeah so i will speak to you all very soon cheers bye